Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another Outfits of the Week. It's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these. You guys seem to like them, I have fun filming them, so I decided to share one with you guys. I will have links to everything I'm wearing in the description bar below. And for this week I decided to test out like a theme week and I am dressing in western slash country slash like cowgirl inspired stuff so hope you guys enjoy this without further ado let's hop right into the first outfit all right guys it's sunday and i'm starting off in something a little western cowgirl inspired a lot of the outfits in this week's outfits of the week are going to be cowgirl inspired because i just recently grabbed a few pairs of boots from a rider girl and they are a western shoe company i did a blog post with them well i will be doing a blog post with them on friday and and so you guys can check that out if you want some outfit inspo, but I figured I would style them in this week's outfits of the week too. So I'm starting off in just a navy little crop top. This has a cute little lettuce hem along the bottom. This is from Shein. My snakeskin belt is from Shein as well. And then my white shorts are a little bit older from Express. They're super, super cute. And I've got on my navy cowgirl boots as well. I believe this style is called the Colleen. I will leave them linked below so that you guys can shop. But I figured a navy tank with navy boots would look super, super cute. I've got on my fossil watch, my mantra band, my little hat because I'm about to go take pictures in this outfit. This is from um, Justin's Boots. And then I've got on navy little tassel earrings from Target. And the silver heron is where my necklace is from. As you guys can tell, I still want like my own chic vibes to come through obviously this isn't super western it's just inspired you know my little cowgirl flair to it but yeah that's today's okay look. peeps it is monday and i decided to go for a little mini dress today i've had this tie-dye one from shein for a few months now and i honestly just have yet to style it besides in my concert outfit ideas post so i decided to wear it today it's got a really cute cowl neck and i love the shape of this i think it's really flattering it's a little bit more slimming right here and then it like flares out just a little bit nothing crazy and i figured i would throw on white accessories with it to keep it a little western i've got on those a rider girl mules that i was talking about earlier i love these they are so cute cute they've got about a one and a half two inch heel and then silver studs along them which is super super chic to match the shoes i'm wearing just a white buckle belt this is from shein as well i thought it would be really cute to, to cinch the waist on this and really just i don't know meet me at my smallest up here and then i've got on just a fun little white bag to go with it i am mixing metals a little bit the studs and the belt are silver but the chain on this bag is gold this is from romwe and then for earrings i've just got on little dainty gold hoops nothing crazy for jewelry today because I don't know, just wasn't feeling it. My hair is in a bun because it really needs to be washed. So I figured a more casual, tie-dye-ish, festival-y kind of outfit would be perfect. All right, guys, I am back with another Western-inspired outfit. It is Tuesday, and I've got on the last of the boots from a rider girl. The pair I'm wearing today are just a black booty with little studs along them. They're more of that Chelsea boot style. They've got about a one and a half inch heel and I love the gold plating along the front. I thought they would be super cute with this outfit. So for today, I've just got on a little fringe tank top from Shein. I've been meaning to wear this forever now and I've got it on with these leather shorts from Shein as well. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't have pockets, but they're super fun to dress up or down. I've got a double buckle belt on. This is from Shein as well. This set, the shorts actually came with this jacket. It's like part of a set. It's got fringe all around it too. I think it looks really cute for the sake of a picture, but it is so hot out that I could never wear a leather jacket and be fine with it. It's a lot of fringe on fringe if you decide to wear it together, but I think it's super, super cute. If I were leaving the house, I would be wearing my cow print purse. This is also from Shein, and so are the rest of my accessories. My black cowboy hat is from there as well, and then I've got little gold hoops on. Well, they're not little, they're big hoops today. My necklace is from the Silver Heron, and I've got on my fossil watch and my mantra band. Alrighty, hello guys. It is Wednesday, and I'm back with another outfit. Truthfully, it is 4.45 right now. I sat outside in a bikini for pretty much the entire day, um, so I just 
took a body shower and put clothes on. I just have not been in the mood to wear makeup the last few days, so I am barefaced again, coming at you with another fringe top, my second day in a row in fringe. This orange one is so gorgeous. I've been wanting to wear this for ages now. I love the color of it. You can totally make this Western or keep it like really classy chic as well. I, of course, for the sake of this week's like styling little challenge for myself, I decided to make it a little western. This isn't like super crazy by any means. Literally all I have on to spice this up is my snakeskin belt from Shein. I've got on jeans from Express. These are old. I get questions about these all the time. Sadly, they are a year old, so they're no longer in stock. And my shoes today are from Dingo, which is a western wear brand. I did a collaboration with them on my blog on Monday, and I got a couple of other pairs of shoes from them. They have western boots, mules, shoes like that. Um, I like these because they have that like little gold plating along the front however they don't look super western at all um they kind of just are like a classic mule at the same time so i don't know i figured this was like modern chic you know so my shoes are like i said are from dingo they are available on amazon as well and i'll have them linked below i'm wearing my fossil watch my mantra band and for earrings today i've just got on my gold gongs from walmart nothing crazy just a chill outfit for this evening. Alrighty guys, I am back with today's outfit. I actually was wearing joggers this morning, but I changed into denim shorts because I'm about to go take pictures and this is one of the outfits I'm gonna be wearing for them. Um, so I'm just starting off in a graphic tee. I actually wore this cowgirl tee from Shein not that long ago. So I wasn't really planning on wearing it today and then I was like, you know what, I can style it really cute with some shorts too. I just wanted something chill to wear with joggers later. It's Thursday so I'll be going over to Connor's and just wanted to be comfy. So who knows, it looks cute. Um, this is from Shein, like I said. My black denim shorts are from Express. I've got on a really big buckle belt from Shein. It's got like a bamboo style buckle to it, which I love. I'm also wearing the same white mules from a rider girl that I was wearing earlier this week. These are so cute. They actually looked adorable with my joggers this morning when I was out and about too. Um, and I wasn't really expecting that. So I was pleasantly surprised. My cowgirl hat is from Shein. It's just my little black one. Got on my fossil watch, my mantra band, and just some simple gold hoops today. Nothing crazy, but I have makeup on, my hair is done, and I'm feeling much more myself today. All right, everyone, I've fallen off my groove a little bit today as far as the Western outfit goes, um, but bear with me. I just, I literally sat outside in my swimsuit for most of the day, and I just filmed a video, and I wanted to be in just a simple top and shorts for that, so I figured I might as well just stay in this for the rest of the day. I popped on some white boots to kind of give it a little bit of the vibe, but nothing crazy by any means. These are honestly, they're from Shein, and they are like a mix of white cow world boots versus like just simple white booties they've got like a little western flair to them but i don't know they're pretty standard they're very pointy for shorts i'm just wearing a pair of old shorts from tj maxx i've had these forever they're like it's really weird they used to fit me perfect and now they're like really big in the waist but really tight right here i need to get rid of them honestly but anyways these are from tj maxx my white t-shirt is just like literally a white crop t-shirt it's from shein and then i've got on my typical watch i haven't had any really super fun accessories i guess if i threw on my cow print clutch that would be super cute with this i'll probably take my outfit of the day with it um and then i've got on little baby hoops from shein and just one singular necklace um that's gold so nothing crazy you know just just a casual summer day, but trying to keep it real with y'all. Okay, everyone, for my last outfit of the day, I've got on my new cow print boots. I got these about three-ish weeks ago. They're from Dingo, and I styled them on the blog on Monday. I am obsessed. They are super, super cute, very high quality, like a true cowgirl boot. I am so excited about these. I got them in the black and white, but they do come in brown as well. And I'm wearing them with this cute new black dress that came from Shein the other day. It's fairly new, so it should still be in stock. My hair looks crazy because Connor and I just went on a hike and I had my hair up in a bun and it was so humid. So I just took it out and it's wild. It's also, I have a band-aid. I had a little bit of a fall. Um, but anyways, I'm wearing my mantra band um, cuff today. I've got on little cow print earrings. These are from Necessary Creations. My my necklace is from the silver heron god my hair looks crazy i might just put it back up and then to throw over this i thought that this little white fringe jacket would be really cute um i probably won't wear a jacket out to dinner tonight but i figured 
I don't know, for the sake of my outfit picture, I'll probably throw it on. I love this one. It's got great movement to it. And I don't know, I think it brings the look together. So that is the last outfit of this week's Outfit of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more Outfits of the Week, be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. They're really easy and fun for me to film. So if you guys like seeing these and want me to do like another themed week, let me know and I will get right on that. Love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.